Hi everyone, it's Imogen. Welcome or welcome back to Colouring Kids. I hope you're having a wonderful day. In today's video, I wanted to share my findings for the Scavenger Hunt Extreme Edition. This tag was created by Danny from Danny Buttons and I was tagged by the lovely um, Erica from Elm Colours. And I'm very embarrassed to say it has taken me almost four months to get around to doing this video. I couldn't believe it when I clicked on um, her video to look for the items. Um, I mean, the past couple of months have just flown by um, anyway, but um, I guess with exams and stuff, it was just coming up to that time. So it was quite a busy time for me, so I couldn't put many um, extra videos up, but I'm very happy to be um, doing it now for you. For that reason, I won't be tagging anyone because it's been such a long time. Um, but now that I have got more time, I will be able to tick these videos off the list that I promise you I hadn't forgotten about it just yeah did take me a while I also wanted to say thank you so much for the overwhelming response to my recent vlog video I couldn't believe it I've had so many wonderful comments I really really appreciate it um I think I never feel like my vlogs when I'm filming them are that interesting um but I guess it really does make a difference having that face-to-face -face interaction and then also sharing um, other bits as well. So that's what I will be doing um, in the future. And yeah, I really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, on with the video. So let me get the list up for you. So I wanted to try and be original with my choices, but... In the end, I think I've probably picked some pictures that are the same as um, other people. Definitely this one is. So the first prompt was to find a map. And my page that I found a map on is from Romantic Country, The Second Tale. And it's this one. I have actually coloured this page in my first copy. But this was the only one I could think of. I was trying to find something else, but I couldn't. Technically, this would go for eggs as well. But I found a different one for that. So the map is here and I do really like this page. This was the first page I originally did in my first copy, but I thought I'd show you the, the blank version. And yeah, that is my map. Uh, some of these are coloured and some of them are uncoloured. So I probably won't necessarily colour the pictures that are uncoloured. It's more just a fun video for me to do. So the second prompt was to find eggs and I found eggs in Schema Tiged by Maria Troll. This is Nightfall for any of you that are interested. It's the Dutch edition of it though and this was my first picture also that I did in this book and as you can see my eggs are here. So I used Prismacolors and I was really proud with how they came out. I'm not so happy with the leaves or the bird but I'm really pleased with how they came out. I think it was Periwinkle, Blue Violet Lake, some of the other blues and definitely I used the cloud blue to add highlight and it was kind of my first time colouring eggs I think and trying to create that highlight um, at the tops of them. So I was really really proud of those. So they are my eggs. I'd probably do them a little bit more speckled next time but yeah, I think they're really cute. Okay, so next we have Find a Hair Bun. There were actually two from Clara Markova's I Believe in Fairies that I've coloured recently. So you have this one here and also this one. So um, lots of her fairies actually tend to have their hair down in these books. Or pictures, I should say, because... Um, well, in her books as well, but um, I was surprised, actually, to find two in here i guess she's kind of what buns there as well but yeah i decided to go for either of these um i colored both of them in may um which again is kind of a surprise for me because i wouldn't usually manage to do that but yeah they were the pictures that i chose we then have find the full moon so i think other people might have also picked Luna, but I just decided to go for this one because I knew straight away when um, I was looking at this prompt what picture I was going to go for. And it's this one at the back. This also has a full moon and I'm pretty sure lots of the other pictures also do. Or they at least have moons in them, even if they're not of a full moon. But um, yeah, this one I knew about straight away and 
I also like it because this is the last page of the book and I think it sums up the book really well because it's Luna and it's huge. I love it. I love the uh, pointillism that Maria Troll has used as well to create the texture. So I have coloured actually a full moon in the Circle of Life colouring book but I decided to go for one that was uncoloured. But yeah, that will be in my June completed pages. Um, okay, so the next one is to find birch trees. Now, there wasn't a particular page that I picked from Spruce Boss by Thomas Love Tomic because I'm pretty sure quite a few of these pages have birch trees. I could be wrong, which is why I'm going to show you a few. Um, there were at least three. So I believe these could be birch trees. I did initially think his forest scenes must have them in because I definitely think I've seen them before. These could be birch trees as well. Um, maybe possibly these ones. So yeah, these were kind of the pages that I thought could possibly be birch trees. But other than that, I don't really know if any of my other books would have birch trees in them. So that was quite a tough one actually, hence why it's the extreme edition. Um, I have to say though, I couldn't find anything for motorcycle at all. The closest thing would probably be a bike, but I don't want to show you something that's not um, right for the prompt. So yeah, unfortunately I failed that one. I could not find a motorcycle anywhere. Um, so I know other people struggle with this one as well, I think. But yeah, I couldn't find anything for it. But um, I technically did have two for the, the hair bun one, but yeah um yeah i'm not sure unless i had one in the hannah lynn book i've got from coloring heaven but i i don't i don't think i do so the next one is to find bananas and this one was tricky again i was looking through fairy touch of magic because clara's done a lot of busy pages with fruits and candy and stuff and i thought that might be something in there but there wasn't and then I suddenly thought of this page in Fragile World by Kirby and it's this one the Mandrel page and there are bananas up here and I think that's the only place where they appear on this page apologies as well if if other people have picked these pages it was so long ago now that I watched all the videos but um I did try to think of them myself um most of them anyway some of them I just couldn't think of an alternative so I did use ones that other people had found but yeah they are the bananas the next one is find a key this was one of the easier ones for me I've colored a page with a key recently and I've been the inky butterfly so I thought we'd show you that but keys appear quite a lot in my pages um definitely in Clara's books there are lots of keys and well obviously joanna's books i can't think of any others off the top of my head but the page that i was thinking of particularly was this one and i say recent but it actually wasn't this was probably back in oh gosh april maybe even earlier it's ridiculous how long this is taking me now um so this one has the keys up here technically there is more than one but I vividly remember colouring them and I really enjoyed doing them there are there are definitely keys on some of my other pages as well but that was the page that I thought of and there are more keys I think in the book as you go through but yeah, I thought I'd go with one that I had coloured for that one so next we have find a sport um i know quite a few people picked ice skating i was trying to find one as well but i ended up going for something else so this is mine winterwelt by ursula schwab these are the colorful world coloring book series and i still need to color in them um but yeah i, I missed the mark for christmas so maybe i will get one done soon maybe either for christmas in july or for um, a summary picture in the other book I have. So anyway, I went with skiing and technically there's also sledging there as well. So yeah, a winter sport. 
I couldn't find anything like football or rugby. I don't have those sorts of books. So I was a bit stuck on what to do um, apart from this picture. So I'm glad that I managed to find this one. I was actually in initially looking for ice skating in this and I don't think I've found one. I don't think there's sludging there as well. But then I came across this one. So I thought I would just go for the skiing. I've only been skiing once and we went um, in Scotland and it happened to be where, exactly where we were going that there was too much snow, which is absolutely ridiculous. So out of the four days we were there, we only managed to ski for one of them. But it was nice, you know, walking around the area. But you would never think that in Scotland there was too much snow. But yeah, it was it was lovely, though. Um, so the final, um, prompt out of 10, there is a bonus one, um, uh, is to find an otter. I was going to pick the otter page from Fragile World, but I didn't want to have two from one book and I'm trying to think if there was another otter one that I thought of. Mm, no, I don't think there was, but this one, uh, immediately jumped out at me. I was uh, thinking, yes, definitely this one. So we have the otters here the sea otters and this is the illustrated compendium of amazing animal facts by marja safstrom and they have facts about all of the animals on every page so here we have sea otters they hold hands when they sleep in the water so they don't float away from each other which i think is so cute and the um the postcards that i have have this as the the front of the um of the postcards and I, I just think it's adorable. So yes, that is that page. And these are really cute. As I've said before, they're not meant to be colouring books, but I use them as colouring books. So I haven't coloured in that one for a while. Um, okay, so the final prompt, which is the bonus one, is to show us an outfit you'd want to wear. And to be honest, I wear quite a lot of things. I wear um, dresses, skirts and tops together, um, jeans i have a couple of jumpsuits that sort of thing but the one thing that i have been wanting to get is um off the shoulder tops and the thing that was always stopping me was that i didn't have a strapless bra but now that i do um i will be on the hunt during this summer season for them but um this lovely page that i got from shannon is a mario le budec page and it's so gorgeous and I did think of her pictures for the bun but I realised that neither of them um, are technically, you know, for buns. So I did, however, find this page as something that I'd like to wear. Obviously you can't see the full outfit but you can see that it's an off the shoulder, I'm guessing, top or um, dress but I think it's gorgeous. And if I was to colour this I'd probably try and do some kind of see-through lining um or glittery lining something like that and then do a pastel pink or something i'm not really sure i definitely do it to match the the flowers which i'll probably end up doing pink anyway because they look like roses to me um, i think this picture is called blooming innocence so if you're interested um uh, if you search mario le budec blooming innocence on etsy it should come up for you but uh yeah that is that page so that's my final prompt so thank you so much for watching thank you erica for tagging me and um danny for creating this i really enjoyed doing this video i i love doing these because it gives you a chance to look back through your books um and it's just it's a lot of fun so um yeah thank you so much for watching everything will be down below as usual i will be having more stickers up in my shop soon um, I've added more bookmarks and things but I have a couple more listing plans to put um, some zebra giraffe and elephant stickers um, which are the same kind of uh, design as the bee stickers which I've just put up and also some full length uh, long bookmarks um, so hopefully they will be up soon if you're interested uh, thank you so much to those of you who have ordered it's been really fun making um these things for you but i really appreciate your support and um i can't believe how many of you have so yeah thank you um it's a new endeavor for me and um it is very fun so 
yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in my next video bye everyone